Hey guys, welcome back to the shop today. Today we are going to be working on the gantry of our CNC and hopefully we can start making this look like we're actually getting something done. Okay, so in our last video, we did a little bit of odds and ends stuff. We put some end plates on our uh, gantry rails or the rails that our gantry is going to be sliding on uh, to mount limit switches and stuff like that. And also to be a hard stop for our gantry uh, for when everything goes completely wrong. Uh, we welded in some angle iron for a base uh, and the support for the water table. Today, we're going to be working on the gantry. Uh, the gantry is something that I've been kind of putting off a little bit because I'm a little unsure. Uh, but also in our last video, we made our mount for our torch uh, on our z-axis and this is the bar it's aluminum two by two that's going to be going from end plate to end plate and uh, so what i've done there is i'm going to do the same setup as i've done uh, with the with the side rails where i have angle iron on top and bottom with the uh, v-bearing setup on uh, on the angle iron I'm hoping to be able to use the same tensioning uh, system that I used on the side plates. And I'll link that video here when I did that uh, to kind of show you what I'm going after. I need to find out where I'm gonna be putting, how high I'm gonna be putting the Z axis on the gantry bar. I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, where the gantry bars, the bearings are gonna be on this plate. Uh, I just don't know where where that bar is gonna be as far as height to be able to have my Z axis hit down on the table um, and still have some more room to grow if I need. So I've marked out three spots. I marked my center on the bar. That's this mark right here. That's my center. And then I also marked how long the cutting surface is. Um, so like that's, that's four feet. My table is four feet across. So that's the travel I need for that Z-axis. So I'm gonna to get to go and mount these, uh, these angle irons on the bar. And once I have that in place, we'll figure out how to get the bearings on the Z-axis. And once we get that done, then we can actually set up on the machine and kind of see, see where we're gonna put that thing in for height. Uh, it'll make more sense as we go. So let's get started and drill some holes, tap some holes, get some angle iron on there, and uh, hopefully we can get the Z-axis mounted. Okay, so in that last clip, you saw me drilling and tapping a bunch of holes to put our angle iron on our gantry bar, similar to what we did with the side rails. Uh, so I couldn't help myself, so I mocked it up real quick. I just clamped it in place, and I set my Z-axis just up here. But it really gives the guy some confidence that this actually might look like something when it's done. Might not work, but at least it'll look cool. But uh, I need to bring this bar down, uh, the gantry bar. I was hoping to have it this high. But it really doesn't matter because I have six inches of travel in my Z-axis, Z-axis, whatever you want to call it. So 
that's my bottom point. I don't need the bar this high. And to do my tensioning system the same as I did on the side plates where I had slotted holes and then underneath I have a, a drilled and tapped hole where I'm gonna use a set screw to push up on these bolts to tension the bottom bearings. I'm hoping to use that same setup here. So to do that, I need to get the bottom of that back plate of the Z axis, this guy, as close to this as possible. Because if I can't drill, um, if I make this too long, my tap won't be able to tap all the way through it. So I gotta keep that in mind, or I need to come up with a different tensioning system. But for now, I'm pumped how this is looking. So we're gonna get onto mounting the bar now to the side plates. That'll kind of be the, uh, the iffy part, because I gotta make sure that's straight. And once that's mounted, then I can get my bearings on my Z-axis and get that mounted. And uh, it's actually starting to look like a CNC. So let's keep going. <laughs> Scratch that, I'm not gonna mount the bar. It, uh, it's not gonna make much sense. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the bearings set into my Z-axis first. Because once I do that, then I can just place the bar wherever that thing needs to be. So I'm gonna do the bearings on the Z-axis first. I think that'll be more prudent. I think that's a word. So that's where I'm gonna start. So we're not gonna mount the gantry bar just yet. We are going to mount our Z-axis onto the gantry bar and then that way I know where to put the gantry bar, if that makes sense. Stick with me on this, we'll get there. So we got our Z axis mounted to the bar and uh, she's looking pretty good. She rolls really nice and the idea is working. And like I said, I just did the same, same setup in the back with the V bearings on the angle iron. And then I used, tapped a hole up through the plate for these uh, quarter inch bolts that tension these, these uh, three eighths that go through the bearing. However, a guy must have had a little too many adult beverages one night um, because as I was drilling and cutting and slotting the holes for the Z-axis, I realized that my rails, uh, my shaft rails, need to go over top of those bolts that hold the bearings on. I'm using bolts like this. They are uh, just like machine head screws, Allen head 3 8 so I could sit them flush on the Z-axis. Problem with that is, is that I have a slotted hole and I didn't really have a good way of using those bolts with a slotted hole. And uh, I was already done slotting the holes when uh, I guess I sobered up and realized this isn't gonna work. So I had to improvise a little bit. Um, so what I did, as you can see the, uh, I had to cut part of this aluminum base off of the rails to make room for my bolts that would have been covered. Uh, I don't think that there's gonna be a lot of problems with this. It's only about an inch and a half, two inches of, uh, of non-supported rail. And this stuff's pretty hefty, hefty stuff. So, I mean, it'll probably work, but that's what I had to come up with. Uh, some of the stuff makes sense up here, but when you actually put it into a build, you find little hiccups, right? But anyway, this will work. It'll be fine, I'm sure of it. So now we have a spot of where to mount our gantry bar or an idea of where to mount the gantry bar. Um, so that's what we'll kind of focus on on the next few things as well as the water pan. I have a water pan. This is uh, 16 gauge. I got it laser cut at a local shop and I had them bent it up. Uh, it fits tight. I slipped it in here to test fit it and uh, to get this out is gonna be tough. Uh, but 
Uh, I did get it out at one point, but it's loud, obnoxious, but it does come out. So all I need to do is weld up, weld up these corners. And uh, to you to do that, I'm going to use my new toy right there. But you'll see an upcoming video on that guy very soon. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to look into mounting the gantry bar and messing with the water pan. Um, I might do that in the next video. We'll see. I might end this here. We'll see. Uh, but uh, I'm to the point where I'm trying to do whatever I can uh, before I need to spend more money on parts for this thing. Um, on motors, gear racks, etc. You've heard me say that a thousand times. So, uh, yeah, let's see how far we can get. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep at it. Hopefully we finish this thing up soon. I was doing some pondering. Uh, I am going to end this video here because uh, I might need two guys and a second pair of hands to line up this gantry bar, drill the holes, because I kind of only got one shot at it. Um, I mean, I have a lot of area, surface area on these, uh, these plates. So, I mean, I can screw up maybe, but I don't want to because I want it to look like I knew what I was doing. Fake it till you make it, boys. That's, that's how it goes. But... Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. Um, if this is your first video, the watching, uh, there's a lot more of it. Uh, if you're curious about the CNC build, I'll put a card up here somewhere for you guys so you can see the rest of the videos. I think I have them in a playlist, and if not, I'll put them in a playlist. Um, but uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for stopping by, and we will see you on the next one.